Hello everyone, I'm back, and today I'm doing my review, or tonight I'm doing my review of Kakaishi by Yellow Tanabe. Uh, Kakaishi is the story of a boy named Yoshimori Sumimura, and um, he is a junior high student, and um, he is what is called a Kakaishi. And what a Kakaishi is, it's basically a... Um, kind of a sorcerer, uh, well it's a demon hunter that uses barrier magic to destroy demons. And um, what his job is, um, he basically goes every night, he goes out and destroys demons because he's supposed to uh, protect this very powerful um, area under his school which is called the Kar Karasamori site. And, um, back in ancient times, the Karasamoris were wiped out by demons because of their immense power. And the Karasamori site gives off a, a uh, immense power that makes the demons grow and become even more dangerous. And that's why he is, um, goes out every night to destroy them. So that they don't wreak havoc, havoc on the town. Um, so he has a childhood friend named Tokin. Uh, Tokin, what's her last name? Um, Yokimura, I think? And they are neighbors. And, um, they're, they're both, the both families are feuding over who is the right, who is the, uh, the heir to the Karasamori site. Um, because they both believe that they are the strongest, um, of the, uh, clans. And, um, every night they both go out and they destroy demons. Um, another character in this is, uh, the dog on the cover, Madaro. She is a demon dog, and, um, she's 500 years, 500 years old, and she is basically kind of a, well, I wouldn't call her a mentor, but she, uh, she leads Yoshimori to the demons because of her sense of smell. Um, same with, there's Tokin on the, Tokin on the back. And, um, with Tokin, she has her own demon dog, and his name is Hakubi, and he also leads her to demons. And it's really funny, the, the two demon dogs add some comedy to, comedy to this, this series. Um, Hakubi keeps calling Tokin honey all the time, kind of like a pervert, and, uh, Madaro always scolds Yoshimori. And then you have Yoshimori's crotchety old grandfather, who is, who... Once, only wants Yoshimori to become the best Kakaishi, and y Yoshimori doesn't want to become a Kakaishi. Yoshimori wants to become a pastry chef, <laughs> and he wants to bake cakes, and um, his grandfather doesn't want that. So um, every time he bakes a cake, his grandfather comes in and destroys it, and it's really, really hilarious. Um, it's, I'll show you some of the arts. There's a little bit of it. Um, it's pretty good artwork. Um, not the best I've seen, but pretty good. I like it. And um, the story progresses um, later on. Um, you don't really get to see like an antagonist until about volume six. So it's a, I compare it to Bleach in a way because I mean obviously they're demon hunters, but it's a twist because they're barrier magic users. And um, what's really cool about this series is each demon unlike Bleach, has a different uh, name to it, like it's a different type of, not a different type, but a different uh, name, so like, I'll try to find one really quick, um, here's one, this is really awesome, um, this one's called the Yumi Gani, and it is an iron bow, and here's a picture of it, it's so awesome, isn't it? And they all have different attributes, and different, like, powers, and things that they can use to, it, it, like, kind of evade human contact. And it's a really great series. I have, this is the first manga I ever read. Um, I received this uh, on my birthday. My friend bought it for me. The first five volumes, he bought them at Barnes & Noble in the bargain section. And he liked it. And he's not an otaku. He doesn't like manga or anime. But he liked this. So he bought it for me, and this is what got me into, an, into manga. And um, at the time, I loved Bleach, so this really reminds me of Bleach. Uh, if you really like Bleach, then you should definitely pick this up. This is one of those uh, kind of, uh, I like to call it a uh, underrated manga series that really deserves more fans because it's really, really good. 
Um, it's produced by Viz Action, right there. Same company who produces Full Metal Alchemist and other series. Um, from the one half, Inuyasha, you know, there's a lot of good series that this company makes. Uh, each volume is $9.99 in America, $13.95 in Canada, and um, it's a really great series. I really do recommend it, and um, yeah, I have eight volumes so far. There are about 20 in the series. Uh, not, not just 20, I mean, right now at my bookstore there are 20 volumes, and I think there's, it's still ongoing in Japan. I think there's like 26, maybe more. In Japan, I'm not really too sure on that, but it's still ongoing. So I'm looking forward to buying more of this, and um, that's basically all I have to say for this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you go out and pick up this novel, or this graphic novel, It's or manga. God, I can't talk. Um, it's a really awesome manga series. I definitely recommend it. And that's our review. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you go, up, go out and pick this up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with my daily vlog. See you later.